Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, episode number 183. This episode is with the hilarious, talented, and downright delightful Stephen O. Young. You may know him best as Mr. Negative from Insomniac Spider-Man game or from a multitude of other amazing projects. In this episode, we talk about him wanting to be a comic book artist growing up, getting his start in a pirate's dinner theater, working in stunts, fight coordinating on 47 Ronin, getting blown up while doubling bays in Rogue One, spitting at John Wick before taking a knife to his head, his legendary audition for Mr. Negative, the differences between playing the villain and the hero, getting to be Jason Todd in the upcoming Gotham Knights game, and so much more. Steven is a joy to hang with, and you are going to love him. So without further ado, please enjoy this episode of the interesting podcast number 183 with Stephen O. Young. Theme song time. nonstop but yeah man cool. do you operate better that way like constantly being busy like i'm horrible with free time no 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 i'm yeah no <laughs> no no no. i'm all out of sorts today man sure. <laughs> I, I had to do a a covid test today for another job next week sure i had to do it yesterday and Ooh. i had all the time in the world yesterday but it completely skipped my mind i'm like uh i so i woke up yeah like, oh my god <laughs> Oh, up the nose quick yeah, exactly uh, well, do you get used to them because you've been working pretty good like the COVID oh, yeah. test yeah. Yeah, yeah i mean you you cry a little bit every time it picks your brain but whatever yeah, yeah i'm the same i same. my <laughs> wife's a nurse and she does it yeah. way better than i do she just yeah. handles it no problem me i'm like for five minutes like crying yeah. like, huh, it's the nose hair that's what it is <laughs> exactly exactly so you're you're back home yeah you're in la now i'm back home yep yep are you from la I am from LA, believe it or not. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's there are a few people who can say that. I know, right? Well, I was born in Illinois, but then my family moved out here when I was like what? I was like three. So yeah. Where are you at? I'm in Florida. Oh, you're in Florida. I'm nice. in Florida. Yeah. Oh, I should have just done the interview with you when I was in Atlanta. I just drive down like five hours. Dude. You, know? you could I could I would have introduced you to my pug. His name is Kubo. Yeah. You'd love yeah. him. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Kubo and the and the nine strings or whatever. Yep, yep, close. I've, two strings, but I'll give it to you. Strings. I love that movie. Oh my god. Same, same. Right? Made me cry too much. I know, right? Too it's much. amazing. It's Awful. Incredible. Yeah. So you haven't been back to Illinois because I always like to ask people who are from one place but go somewhere else where home is because some yeah. people will move and they go back home. But if you haven't right. gone back, LA's always been home, man. I mean, I went back to visit, you know, to see the old stomping grounds, but of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, shed a little blood yeah. just to yeah, mind yeah. it. <laughs> exactly, very different place than than California, you know. So, but I I feel like I'm a Southern boy at heart, man. There you go. It like is I'm a mentality, a you know. Yeah, this, Southern living is nice. So Agreed. when I was out there in Atlanta, I was like, you know, maybe coming down to the South might not be such a bad idea. It's not. Uh, There's a lot yeah. of butter. That's what I'm saying, you know. And I like the food. So yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. it. Be a thing, you know, I get yeah. it. Yeah. Do you think growing up in L.A. is where the interest in entertainment started? Just being in proximity to it? Dude, that's funny that you say that because uh, literally one of the choices I made, one of the reasons why I even started to do acting was because I was like, well, look, everybody comes from around the world to Los Angeles to try it. Yeah, I live here. <laughs> I think if I even have even the slightest inkling to try it, like there's no other perfect time or place. Like I'm perfectly situated, so we should just do this. So yeah, there you go. I respect that. Like yeah, might as well. Might as well take you a know? crack at it. That's right. You know how many <laughs> bad actors there are out there yeah. that are successful. Yeah. I could be one of those too. Right. <laughs> I think about that a lot. Like it, yeah. it, it, there's such a lottery, but you know. Being handsome as yourself, there's a, there's oh. definitely a leg up, you know. Oh, you gotta yeah. capitalize, my friend. 
Oh, that is, that is, you know, I needed Listen, that today. I needed I've seen it. you in a suit more often than not, <laughs> is all I'm going to say. <laughs> Again, I needed to hear that, man. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How yeah. old were you when you decided to roll the dice? Oh, you know, it was at, after college. That was wow. when, you know, yeah, it was like during high school, I got the, you know, the acting bug. Mm -hmm. uh, I was always a class clown. Of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I never really considered it as a real career choice. Sure. Then after college, my dad and mom were like, hey, you know, if you if you even think you want to try it, we'll support you. Oh, for that's and they, cool. they gave me a long time. And yeah, they gave me a long time. They gave me like 10 years. They're like, we'll give you until you're 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Before well, you get old. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was like, if you can't even book one thing, like before you're 30, then it's probably time to, you know, get a real job. So I was like, well, look, if my, if my parents are supporting me, you know, emotionally and, you know, giving me a place to crash, like then absolutely, you know? Yeah. So that, that is really when I was like, yeah, let, let's go for it. I have, I have nothing else to, to lose. I have everything to gain. So, and, you know, I was big into martial arts. So my, my dad and mom cool. they, they really believed in me. Right. They thought, I think they thought a well, worst case scenario, he can open up a Kung Fu school. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the easier guy, of the if, two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If this kid's not talented, then, you know, <laughs> right. other talented people. That's so, right. Yeah. So. Wow. After college, that's kind of late considering most people are I know. Like super young. I, I know. I actually look back on that now and uh, advice to any aspiring actors, don't go to school. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but truly I do but wish for real, <laughs> for real. Sometimes I wish I'm like, man, I wish I was one of those child stars. Sure. Right? We're working on Disney channel shows when they're five, but right. you know what I also realized life is life. Life is your life. Life is my life. Facts. And right whatever however we got here you're gonna mm -hmm. get wherever you're gonna get so that's great yeah. so what, what were you going to school for what were you doing before oh um, that's funny I, I before i was an actor i wanted to be a kung i, know, well, no, I wanted to be a kung, kung fu, fu actor. teacher i did <laughs> i did want to be a kung fu teacher but before even that i wanted to uh, be a comic book artist what so yeah so i went to school not for comic book art because i wasn't it was so funny i was like i don't want to again destiny right yeah I, like, I wanted to be a comic book artist but i didn't just go 100 percent into it mm -hmm. i went 100 percent into acting and things have worked out sure so, <laughs> happy election, go 100 percent. so i went to college though at uc san diego for uh, basically like web design okay. which i thought i thought was like the closest thing corporate right to <laughs> being an artist i but i again looking back i if i wanted to be one of those things i really should have just gone hard and gone to like Cal arts or gone to one of these, you know, schools, sure. Savannah school of design and all that to mm -hmm. like really be an illustrator because look at video games, look at movies. If you're not a comic book artist, but you have those kind of skills, you can do storyboards, you can do a concept mm -hmm. art, right? Look at, look at boss logic. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Do that kind of stuff. Uh, so that was another thing. So these are some of the regrets I have in my yeah. life. <laughs> I got plenty myself. Same yeah. cloth. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's, were you good at it? Uh, I was fairly decent as a as a comic book artist. I my style is uh, like if you ever look at. I rarely post any stuff, but if you look at some of my stuff, I'm like a clone of Jim Lee. Ooh. You know, when I, when I was growing up, I was big into X Men. Yeah, Disney, and I was big into Image Comics. That's right when it was uh, coming out. So. I, I studied and I copied Jim Lee, but here's the thing. I plateaued. Ah, uh, right? yep. So I'm kind of like, you know, uh, some stuff I cannot draw. Like for the life of me, yeah. I cannot draw a left thigh. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> Your Achilles yeah. heel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally, right? I can't draw heels. Your Achilles yeah. thigh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was pretty good at it, but I went to Comic-Con when I was like 14. Ooh, and then yeah. I, I was so, oh man, it's so funny. I was so... uh I was so confident and cocky. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get signed by Marvel. They're, I'm going to be the new it boy. <laughs> and then, you know, they told me the reality, like, Hey, you need work. It's you're good, but you need, you know, work on perspective X, Y, Z. And mm -hmm. I was just like, that's it. I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> but I'm going to do something else. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But, you know, I've always 
loved performing and I've always loved acting. So I think that was where I was just like, yeah, you know, just, uh, just go in my head. I was like, I'll just, I think that's when the seed started to form probably sure. from 14, like you're probably not going to go do art, you know, and sit sure. at, a, at a desk and actually have a deadline. Sure. Right? You're going to sure. be free and wild. Yeah. You're going to be carefree <laughs> yeah. and foot loose as an actor. And now actually I realize being an actor, you have to be so professional. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's real life, baby. I'm just telling all the kids out there. You That's know? right. It's important yeah. to know. It's all right. You important have to, to know. Professional. Exactly. Who's so. your favorite X-Men? Oh, man. Well, come on. Wolverine. Wolverine's good. Wolverine. Always, man. Wolverine versus good. Omega Red. I cannot wait mm-hmm. for that to be on the movie screens. But weirdly, I have a soft spot for Cyclops. Interesting. He's, I, you know, I, I think his power is cool. Uh-huh. He's also a leader. He's kind of misunderstood, and he's all. Have you noticed this? He's always yelling Gene every <laughs> every issue of a comic book, every iteration of a TV show, every movie. Gene. <laughs> He's in love, man. What do you want? He's in love. <laughs> He's in love. So those are my go-to guys. And ironically, they're you know they're nemesis. So, right. Yeah. I've seen I've seen your Cyclops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll give it to you. I, I'm 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 throwing that idea out to Marvel. You know. That's hey, right. That's pass right. Me, you know, <laughs> pass me a Cyclops. I'm already doing it. That's my audition tape. <laughs> I'll I'll wave that flag for you. I'll do Thank it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I need the help. I need the help. What martial arts were you doing? I was doing when I grew when I was growing up. My father taught me a Chinese form of judo. It was oh, called cool. Spai Gao, which is wrestling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I did some praying mantis as well. And then oh. when I got into college, uh, I studied wushu, like Chinese Ooh. from the mainland, because yeah, we had some teachers come from literally Beijing wushu, uh, you know, sports institute where Jet Li studied. Yeah. So. Man, when I like it was basically around I forgot what year, but there was a time when like 10 of those, you know, students, those teachers, those athletes just came to America at the same time in all different places in America. Wow. So we kind of exploded. Right. Sure. And, uh, yeah, that's what I studied. I, I did, you know, empty fist. And then we started doing all the weapons like staff. Cool. Sword straight sword, you know, uh, spear, all that stuff. Yeah. And I was obsessed. And that is the same time I was getting obsessed with, you know, wushu and movies like the matrix. Oh Jet yeah. Blue came to America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Donnie Yen came to America was starting to make movies. So it was like, I, I had found myself. I had found my calling. It was so exciting, yeah. you know, and then being Asian too, it was like, sure. this is our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is our cultural legacy. You mean I, I can do this and also like be closer to my heritage, you know, win, so, win. yeah, which are two Vietnamese people, but uh, no, I'm yep. joking, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's good. I, I, yeah, you can have that one for free. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was absolutely a win, win. And uh, that was a very exciting time for me. And, you know, I'm very grateful for that time because it yeah. set the foundation for the rest of my career and my life you know even to this day i was i'm able to use those kind of skills so i'm very thankful for that so again not that anyone is asking but i always love to say you know give advice because it just makes me feel so of course it's got to be worth something it's got to be worth something (laughs) yeah i'm just saying like my advice is like if you you gotta it would be nice if you could pick something that you're really passionate about that you don't care if you get paid for or not Mm -hmm. and if you develop that whatever it is you know, it's going to reap dividends in your life, if not monetarily, at least emotionally, you know, at least spiritually in your life, you're going to have something that you love, which is awesome. I agree. Yeah. I had a mentor one time that said, if there's something burning in your heart, it's there for a reason. Like just follow it, whatever that is. Exactly. Be anything. Exactly. I mean, some people have a burning desire for like money and are Yep. And our you know, <laughs> incorrigible gamblers. So in that respect, I'm like, yeah. you might want to. It's not for everyone, <laughs> pers- for legal reasons. <laughs> Use your judgment. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be ethical, but. <laughs> right. yeah. But you know, Ideally, even gamblers, even you, gamblers you can be a. You, even gamblers, you can be a consultant. You know, that's like, true. 
you. Right. You can be a gambling consultant. That we're that here is- to build you up, is what exactly. I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh God. Is it true that you got your start in a pirate's dinner theater? Oh, it is so true. That was my first ever real like performing job. And frankly, it was the second job I probably ever had in my life. <laughs> my first my first job, I was a theater usher. I got ah, fired. Okay. At, uh, yeah, I got fired after two days. Oh, no, why? They caught, me, they caught me sitting in the front row in every movie watching the movies. Because <laughs> I was like, hey, this is the perk. The it was front very row, nice. Steven. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> hey, I was young and not that smart. Right. You're absolutely right. At least the right. back. It, you're so they right. walk past you. You're, you're so right. You're the, I was the front. I was so, anyways, not my, <laughs> not my, not my shining moment in my life. Then my second job, I was a, I was actually a web designer for like a hot year. Okay. Down in San Diego. Okay. Yeah. Using that degree. I feel Using you. that degree, and I, but I was also hilariously like call center specialist for oh. the place. So because it was such a small operation we were selling like razor scooters right knock off razor scooters so i would design like a million websites a day because that's how they wanted to flood the market of course and then i would also call get calls from people (laughs) while i'm designing people saying my scooter fell apart and i'd be like yeah you bought it for 25 bucks (laughs) it's not a real razor (laughs) Spelled with an L. Right. I don't know. You wanted a know. Gillette scooter. What it's, were you thinking? Exactly. I. That's on you, man. Anyway, I so then uh, I was like unemployed for about for two years, and I was miserable. And I was sure. back at home, and I was like, "What am I gonna do? I'm trying to be an actor, but mm-hmm. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't. I didn't know how to get an agent. I didn't know anything. Sure. And lo and behold, I there's you know there's an announcement that Pirates Dinner Venture is coming to Buena Park, you know, and I see it on the front page and there, guess what? There's an Asian pirate <laughs> sliding down a rope and they're like, they're holding auditions. And I was like, actually, they didn't even say that in the, in the first ad. They were just mm-hmm. like, they're coming to California. And I drove, uh, I'm very close to, to it, right? But I drove that night just to the parking lot. Yeah. I got out of the car. And I looked at the building and it said, you know, Pirates Intervention coming soon. And I was like, I'm going to work here. You know? <laughs> and lo and behold, like You're a month right. later, yeah, a month later, they had an audition, an open call, and they had like a thousand people come. Wow. And I got dressed up in my wushu outfit, which I don't know if, if you don't, if you don't, if you know wushu, uh, uh-huh. it's very flamboyant. I looked uh-huh. like Liberace. I came out, I was <laughs> silk. To the nine, <laughs> it was bright, it was shiny. There, I, there's probably some glitter. Yeah, and, I had to and I brought a sword. And these guys were like, <laughs> What a psychopath, right? Like, what a weirdo. And I was like, Yeah, Perfect. I'm weird. Yeah, <laughs> I'm weird, but I'm gonna work here. And thankfully, I did my sword routine and I got hired, and I was the Asian pirate. You know, and that Asian pirate taught me how to how to be an you know, an Asian pirate. And uh because wow. that crew was from Florida. They went back to Florida. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. And so I worked there for a hot, hot two years. Wow. That's a long yeah. time. It is a long time. But everybody, that that is interesting because everybody at Pirates and, and probably the same thing with Medieval Times and all the live shows, right? Sure. Universal and, you know, even Disney is like uh, most of the guys there and the girls are, are actors or stunt mm-hmm. people. Makes sense. So that is how I kind of cut my teeth and understood like, oh, wow, like there, that is the show that taught me there is a world called stunts out there. Oh. Our, our fight captain on Pirates was Dave Morzo, who is mm-hmm. an amazing, talented fight choreographer and stunt choreographer. And at the time, he had just come off of, you know, shows like Alias. Oh, great. On all, all these other shows, right, as a fight choreographer. And so... um that is how I realized like, oh, you can go into that business, you know? Oh, and, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Another hot tip to anybody out there. If you want to start in stunts, you know, you go be in a, a live show. Yeah, be a pirate. <laughs> be an easy pirate. Yeah. Good luck. You good luck, this. Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. You can, you can do anything you put your mind to. 
not the illegal people. We're not talking exactly. about you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that's that's my story, you know. Uh, but yeah, that, that's how I got in. I love that. What it was it just like full hearty confidence that you just walked in? You're like, oh, this is gonna be mine. Like, where? What no, is that? Well, uh, it was naivete. Okay, was perfect. Like, and it was like <laughs> bright eyed. Yeah. She told, like, <laughs> oh, please. And it, it it there was a sense of delusion of not not necessarily like I'm gonna get this, yeah. but more like it's a different way of it's saying the same thing, but there's yeah. a different energy. Like sure. it's almost like a desperation. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> because if I don't, I'm moving to Canada right. and I'm becoming an ice fisherman, right? Like, right. That's what it was. Solid backup. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's truly what it was. That, that is my thing, too, is like at the time I didn't have a backup. It's a way to like, go. All 100% is. you talked about. Right. Yeah, this is all it is. And even today, like I kick around ideas of, of being a back, you know, a backup as I get older. I'm of like, course. Oh, I'm be a mortgage lender yeah. or, a, or an accountant. <laughs> But I always come back to like, this is this is the deal, right? Yeah. This is the career, do the career as hard as it gets. You know, this is the the path that you chose. So it's going to have all these ups and downs. And I've had a lot of downs recently, but it's like, <laughs> but and then ironically, then you or coincidentally, then you get these ups and you're just like, okay, it's like the universe saying stick with it. Yeah. You know? And, and it's great. So I love that. Yuri kind of said the same thing. He's like, just just don't give up. He's like, that's the key. It's not nothing right. else. Just if you keep going, eventually right. it, it evens itself out. Yeah. And you find what I have found is if you don't give up and you, you keep, you know, working on yourself, mm -hmm. getting better. And if you get to a certain level of, of um, uh, what's the word, like aptitude for it, uh -huh. you're going to, you're going to carve a niche for yourself. Yeah, you are, you know, I mean, look at me. It's like, I never thought. I would be Mr. Negative right. on a video, right? And, and, and get recognized by people. Sure. I mean, you know, even in Atlanta right now, I, I'm, work, I'm working on that, whatever. I was doing s some small thing with Chris Evans and uh -huh. Hannah Dunham, right? Small, small thing. But like, but the cool thing about that was like, I was kind of salty because I was like, oh, I'm, I'm on this, that's such a small part, such a small thing. I'm basically mm -hmm. glorified extra, right? Right. And like three guys come up to me who are working on, this, on, the, on the crew. On different days and they're like they're like oh my god you're mr negative and i was like uh, this cool. is, i was like bro you, you got captain america over there and they're right. like, yeah, 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 that's captain america but you're mr negative right i was like so that was i was like oh thank you you know that's cool yeah, it was very cool it's nuts you got started in stunts because that's that hurts it sure does <laughs> yeah. uh, look not only does it hurt physically <laughs> Yeah. pride wise okay right. i'm giving you the down low all right right like, ego wise because i always no look stunts is amazing and it needs to have its own category in the oscars uh, agreed it's technical yeah it's 100 percent. exactly it's exactly as technical as sound editing or cinematography there's a science to it mm -hmm. uh you know but yeah i always wanted to talk and i always wanted to be in front of the cameras sure like, the the love interest and then i'm getting my butt kicked by every a list um, <laughs> for 10 years right and, and not only that then i'm also teaching them how to kick my butt right, right. <laughs> and then i also have to say hey great job on kicking my butt right, right. So, so yes when you say it hurts i feel that deep to my right. That's the part talks about. Me, yeah exactly it's fun don't get me wrong but there's sure. other, trade-offs to it as well i love being an actor don't of get me course wrong. of that's, course that's my deal baby <laughs> i <laughs> love acting but i'm also really good at losing fights just for sure. super good <laughs> if you want a guy to lose a fight i've done it a hundred <laughs> times look at my imdb there's so many ways i've i've been killed you know people yeah. ask me for a living before <laughs> before i was doing acting right sure I was like, oh yeah I, I i die for a living they're like, no. And I say, here's my MBB. Check it out. Right. And then they go, what a, what a douchebag. <laughs> what kind hey, of you started this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you asked me about my life. Right. I didn't ask you. Yeah. But I know you also like you hit stuff pretty quickly as far as mediums go, because you did the pirate show. But then shortly after you were on Thor, but also Force Unleashed 2. Like within yeah, the span so, of a couple of years. That's why. Exactly. Wild. Exactly. So uh, 
yeah, because of pirates, then I got my first uh, big job uh, in stunts because I was recommended by cool. another stunt guy who couldn't do it. Uh, I doubled Deb Patel on Last Airbender. And boy, we thought it was going to be a trilogy. <laughs> we thought we were going to be rich. Yeah. Why wouldn't you beforehand? Right. We thought we were going to be rich. Then it came out. We were like, ooh, right. Okay, yeah. well, back to the drawing board. You yeah. know? <laughs> but because of Airbender, that also, that was a great show in terms of like, we had so many good people on that behind mm -hmm. the scenes, right? And in, in front of the camera too. But it was like, you had 50 stunt people. And then I met one of my good friends, Phil Silvera, who then uh, he's the one that gave me my first in uh, into video games, into motion capture. Oh, cool. He was working at Blur Studio at the time. Ah, with, with Darren Miller. Ross. And Darren Ross, exactly. And that's okay, where okay. I met Darren. Darren's right? the best. That's, exactly. So that's where I met Darren. And so then, you know, getting on Thor, that was... Um, Again, because the guy, the same guy that couldn't do Airbender couldn't do Thor. So then I hopped on the Thor. But once, once you start the ball rolling, then more people know you. Then you audition more, submit yourself for more stuff. Then I started to understand how to do the stunt aspect. Got right? so it. Navigating that. And then at the same time, I was doing more motion capture, motion capture. But and then it was only really until, what, seven years ago, six years ago? that the the acting acting side for me took off because oh. at that point yeah at that point i was like okay i've done enough on the stunts i'm ready to do like strictly acting at the time i was doing like stunt acting but then i was like look you got to get yourself an agent you got <laughs> you gotta like do it right a different I thought, lane exactly sure. i thought my ego was telling me like, boy, I'm, I'm giving you it all right now. But my <laughs> ego was like, you're, you're good enough. And then I realized like, there's more that I want to do, you know? Gotcha. Then I, you know, I focus really hard on that. And then uh, through the acting side, then the audition comes for, I was doing TV, you know, I was doing. Co -star. I've seen all of it. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you. Right. So I was going from co-star to then guest star, to then some recurrings, right? So the TV was going pretty well. And then this audition for Spider-Man comes out, right? Wow. And that was my first video game that I had done where it was my face capture, it was my voice, and it was my motion capture. Because I had done a lot of motion capture. Right. But I had not done any where I was the actor. So that one changed my life, for sure. How could it not? Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm always so grateful to Insomniac and to everybody on the team there for hiring me. Uh, and, sure, you know, because of Spider-Man 4, now I'm able to do more auditions for voiceover stuff. Get and it. For more video game stuff, you know. And then, you know, here we are, Gotham Knights as well coming out this year. It's like, which I did not think I was going to get. Sure. The second I walked in, I was like, boy, you should have seen the castings. Yeah. <laughs> it was all colors of the rainbow. So uh -huh. immediately I'm like, okay, well, uh, it, racially, right? Yep. That, that's, a, that's a consideration. I was just like, okay, so literally they're seeing everyone on the planet. So, uh -huh. sometimes, it's, sometimes it's nice to be the only Asian, right? Oh, yeah. But, or, or it's nice if it's all Asians. But right. it, it can be a little daunting if it's everyone. Right. right. Competition so like, high. Right. So I was like, okay, so it's the United Nations. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I have to battle everyone to the death now. Right. <laughs> and it was all shapes and sizes too. Right. And uh, so you got tall guys, short guys, whatever. I think the one thing that everybody had in common was we all had amazing deep voices. Ah, and we were all of course. super handsome. <laughs> had to have been. Had to have been. <laughs> I can see why you won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly but you know so so i'm very grateful for that and uh that's where i am today i dig that i did yeah. you, you did stunts for seven years oh bro i did stunts for longer than that man any long-term injuries uh no long-term injuries well oh, actually good. yes like oh. i did ratchet once Ooh. I had to fall, you know get pulled i got jerked maybe. Yeah, I got jerked like what? I don't know, 20 feet into the Ugh. air. And I I landed incorrectly. Pretty sure I heard my neck snap Ugh. or some ligament here in my shoulder. <laughs> no. So yeah, actually, now that you think now that you ask, like 
for the rest of my life now, I always have this, this, uh, horrible, dull, <laughs> aching pain <laughs> shooting down the, the, my right shoulder blade. That little, is never little going love. to happen. Little yeah. love touch from the career. Yeah. Little love. Exactly. Respect. <laughs> Dude, so let, remind me where I came from. Right. You know? yeah. That's all. Yeah. You've earned it. It's like a cool scar. Exactly. You know what I mean? And exactly. you did it doing something cool. It wasn't like you re- like fell out of bed the wrong way. That's true. You know? Only only with a scar, everybody can see it. With this, That's true. only I have to live with it. Yeah, they got to take your <laughs> word for it too. It's like, do I believe them? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Not many people at the bar, you know, yeah. believe them. I'm like, hey, hey girl, right. what's up? Look at me. You want to, you want to. <laughs> My shoulder hurts. <laughs> exactly. He says exactly. to the construction worker with a limp Not, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not the best pickup line. <laughs> We'll reframe this somehow. We'll we'll brainstorm yeah. it together. <laughs> Thank you. I need the help. I need the help. It's when you're doing when you did uh Forced Unleashed 2, was that motion capture or was that just voice? Yeah, that was motion capture. Okay. That was motion capture. So we were doing we were doing a lot of the cinematics uh oh cool uh, for the for the advertisements, you know what I mean? Got it. Yeah, yeah. So, so actually, you know, when you see like Darth Vader like uh-huh. walking up through the snow. And all that stuff and getting ready to battle. That was actually me as Darth Vader. Oh, cool. But again, it's like my shoulder injury. Nobody can believe me. Right. Yeah. You know, be like, whatever. <laughs> oh, you walked. Great. You know, right. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, that moment has lived on because it's become that yeah. meme of like, you know, you were going to stay away. I lied. Yeah. That was I, you. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. Right. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll make yeah. sure people know now. Thank you. Well, the one the one that I'm super proud of, Star Wars motion capture wise, is the uh, which one is the the old Republic. Of the, the old Republic, right? Dude. I was doing the, I did the motion capture for the for the Zabrik Jedi with the horn. Yeah, the Jedi oh, Master with yes. a double blade and a single exactly. at the same time. Exactly. You know, and what? again, all exactly all credit goes to Phil Silvera who choreographed that and coordinated that, and Darren, you know, uh-huh. obviously helped animate that. But that was my first big uh motion capture thing you know so with with blur i was doing little parts you know sure. little motion capture things and then i was able to do that fight scene which is still Ooh, one of there. the greatest it's one of the greatest of and nobody time. knows that it's me they you do know? now yeah <laughs> i know how i know how cia agents feel right, right? yeah like i save the world but <laughs> right. i can't tell anyone <laughs> that's how i feel in my brain so i'm the guy who writes the autobiographies like later on you know, yeah. Like, Do you remember the Cold yes. War? Well, this is the man A- behind it. Absolutely. I want a BuzzFeed article. That's, yeah. my, that's how I know I've made it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what are those rehearsals like? Because two and one, yep. that's un, that's not balanced. So yeah. how, how long did you have for that? Well, uh, because, you know, because we all do martial arts, we uh-huh. can pick it up pretty quickly. Sure. Right? So that, that it, you know, rehearsals, what did we do for rehearsals for that? It was probably like a week. You know, because you have to shoot previs. Right. That was that's really what the rehearsal is for. Sure. Not necessarily to get the choreo down, because as a sure. professional, you should just get it. Yeah, right? just get it. You should just get Matrix, it. Matrix, download it. Like, truly. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. It's like truly. I remember when I was stunt coordinating, I would be kind of harsh. I would be like that. I'd be like, look, we hired you, not so you can learn this. <laughs> <laughs> if you I'd, dies, I'd, be, I'd, I'd say it like this. Yeah, I'd be like. <laughs> I'd be like, look, do I hire a a doctor to learn on the job? No, the doctor (laughs) already knows the skills. Okay, so do your thing. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) made a lot of friends as you can see. (laughs) Such a friendly guy. (laughs) I'll enact. You're a good actor. I get it. (laughs) (laughs) I see the chops. I see them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) And and also you worked on no joke one of my favorite movies the super underrated forty seven Ronin. Oh, thank you, dude. Okay, it's me and you. Thank All you, right? bro. Here's the deal: if that movie came out today, I think people would appreciate it. Agreed. I still watch it. I, like it's so good. You know what's funny? I I just recently watched it, and I too was like, this is not that bad, right? <laughs> this is not as bad as everybody thought it was when it came out. I, I will defend that movie to the death. Yeah, the effects are good. Yeah, the story is good. 
The acting is good. I'm like, you know, okay. Like, and it's got Keanu. It's got Keanu. It's got Keanu battling supernatural demons in a Japanese forest. Like, yeah. what more do you what's, people want? What's wrong with that? <laughs> is it going to win an Oscar? No, but is I'll it? Give, I'll make one just to pass <laughs> it out. Be like, good job. Also, Hiroyuki Sonata. Exactly. <laughs> and Hiroyuki was amazing. Oh, man, Great. that was funny. So I was doing like fight choreo for that, right? Oh. And, and, yes. So I was very... I'm very proud of that movie. You should be. Of, yeah, you know, we had we had three guys doing fight choreo, right? And but it was always like the battle of it, it was weird. It was like the battle of the best idea, right? So sure. Three <laughs> years, like, Trial well, what if we kill him like this? Well, what if we kill him like this? Yeah. Well, what if we do this? <laughs> you know, but that's where I met, you know, some good people. Liang Yang, who who Ooh, uh, yep. you know Star he, Wars. He's Star Wars. He's yeah. He's the he's that dude. Traitor he's trooper. Wars. Yes. Yeah. And also in the bat and bathroom fight, uh, mm -hmm. Mission Impossible. Um, you know, I met him, and uh, he became my very good friend. Andy Lister as well, who is the cool. double for Black Widow, mm -hmm. right? Black Widow movie. He was on that as well, and uh, yeah, I had a great time on that doing that movie. You know, just it was like eight months of just being a samurai. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a good amount of time. Where was that shot? That was shot in England and Budapest. Oh, that's yeah, really so check cool. it out, everybody. Check out 47 Ronin because yeah. if you do, uh, it will help my residual stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so good. I always describe yeah. to people the specifically the Japanese forest with that weird tree yeah. branch tail thing. Yes. It's like a live action Miyazaki movie. Absolutely. It's like, Absolutely. Why is everyone sleeping on it? It's I so know. good. I know. Maybe they maybe they'll know today. They better mm -hmm. to the to the three people that listen to my show. <laughs> hey, we love you three people. That's right. We do. All right. We do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I see the the Leon connection because I know you also mm -hmm. doubled days in Rogue One. That's right. Arguably one of the greatest Star Wars movies ever. Exactly. So Leon uh, hit me up and he was like, they need a double for Bays. Mm -hmm. And I was like, sweet. When I did that show, it was so funny. It was so secretive. I actually thought we were working on um, Star Wars 8. Uh, I thought we were working on The Last Jedi. Sure. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I thought we were working on, is it, is it, is it 8 or is it yep. 7? Seven? 7's The Force Awakens. I thought we were working on Force Awakens. Oh, uh, right? okay. And so I'm, I get into the, so we were doing, I was doing Bays, but I was also, you know, random Stormtrooper or whatever. Oh, sweet. Right. Yeah, throughout a lot of the battle scenes, right? Nice. So I put on the Stormtrooper outfit, and I'm like, it's the classic white outfit, uh -huh. right? I'm like, but I thought this was the future Star Wars one. <laughs> and so for two months, I was walking around. We were doing previs for sure. battles. And I was like, for two months, I was walking around like, why am I in the old? Is this like a throwback <laughs> soldier? Are we the throwback <laughs> unit? What, what is going on? And then finally, I asked somebody and they're like no bro this is like this is a prequel this is like sure uh, oh what <laughs> <laughs> it was the wildest time you know i had no idea <laughs> oh god how long were you on that i was on that for like i want to say six months something like that wow. yeah yeah did you go to the maldives or it was all england i was supposed to go to the maldives but then oh this is a great story i really I'm pissed here. off the stunt coordinator and oh, everybody no. Because I got my first heavy recurring on uh, acting role on uh, the last ship. Oh, yep. Which I was also fight coordinating on, right? So makes sense. I got the acting role where I played this Chinese uh, Secret Service agent who has a fight with like one of the leads, and I was like, I have to take this. I'm a boy with a dream. I have right, to, right. And they literally <laughs> had processed my passport to go to the Maldives. Everybody's so excited. They're like, "We're going to the tropical," and I was like, "I'm so sorry. I have to go out." <laughs> literally the day before. Literally the day before, I was like, oh, I, no. "I can't take the flight. I gotta go." <laughs> but people know, man. It's like, look, they gotta know. I'm going to, I, you know, I'm going. Mm -hmm. I would, I would cut off my left arm for any kind of acting role. Sure, right? all the time. So. Yeah, that, that is my Rogue One story. That's you know? amazing. That's how I left Rogue One. I was like, gotta go. <laughs> Deuces. I'm an actor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. May the force be with you. I'm out. Yeah, exactly. exactly. They're like, no, that's not how it works, Steven. 
How much time were you like Baze versus a stormtrooper? Uh, I would say it was like equal. Wow. Equal. I, I, in fact, I might have been more stormtrooper than Baze. Interesting. The double Baze, you know, he had this, he had one gag that got cut, that got reshot. Sure. But basically, how, the way it was originally was Baze gets like this cool bomb shot at him. And it's oh. a sticky bomb and it attaches to the, his tank in the back, his ammunition. Yeah. And like he realizes that he's going to explode and he's with all the, the crew and he's like, he's, he's got to go. So he, he runs towards those, the, the death troopers uh -huh. who are coming towards them in a line and he runs towards them heroically and they're shooting at him and he's, got, and he's getting shot while he's running and he's slowing down because he's getting shot, but he's like dragging himself oh. towards them with a bomb ticking. And then he gets to them and it explodes. So they literally blew up the tank in my back. Oh, no. It literally did an explosion. And not oh, only yeah. that, then they did an explosion in a circle around me, right? I had to like hit a mark that was literally only shoulder width apart. Oh. And then everything around exploded with like sawdust, sand, dirt, whatever, smoke. And uh, they were like, yeah. I was like, what happens if I miss the mark? If I like overstep it? They're like, well, I hope you close your eyes because oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. and let me tell you the explosion on the backpack. It was so funny. They're like, we're going to do a test. I was like, cool. How do you do the test? They're like, well, we strap this on you and we oh, no. put up. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that doesn't sound like a test. Right. That sounds Tests like can fail. That uh, just sounds like, yeah, that just sounds like you're doing it. Right. <laughs> I'm no scientist. Yeah. But there's what's the margin of error on this? Exactly. <laughs> but thankfully, it was very safe. Uh, it's just super scary. That's all. You know, I having bet. a bomb attached to your back. But uh, yeah. <sighs> was it yeah, loud? That, uh, yeah. I had to obey yeah. this explosion. It's fire. Right? It's all that stuff. Exactly. <sighs> yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Was the gun heavy? The gun was heavy. It was a uh, you know, it was like this fiberglass rubber concoction. But it, yeah, cool. definitely gave me some carpal tunnel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's a funny story. Kathleen Kennedy walked up to me in my Bayes outfit. And I'm now I realize she had no idea that I was a stunt double. <laughs> but I was John Lin, superstar Chinese actor. Yeah. Not realizing it's the superstar Chinese American actor, Stephen Oyen. Right. right? <laughs> so she starts talking to me. And then halfway through, I see her in her eyes. I see in her eyes that she realizes she's not talking to John. <laughs> oh, no. But I shoot my shot. Yeah, you did. And I'm like, hey, Kathleen, listen, listen, if you ever need an Asian guy to say something in one of these movies, right. Stephen O. Young, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm shameless when it comes to good for you. That's yeah. what you need. That's, That's what it right. takes. That's right. She still hasn't called me, but I'm holding out hope. Right. That yet. Really yet. Is, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I was a lizard face man on, uh, you know, hey, on, you were. Uh, what? What um uh, Book of Book Boba Man, Fett? Boba Fett, exactly. So mm -hmm. you know, Star Wars connects. It's, you it's know. Around, it's was that was that prosthetics? Yes, Ooh. it was prosthetics. Is a uh, legacy effects. Yeah, does uh, you know Brian Sype? Exactly. Also a previous guest. Stuff. Wink. Yeah. Oh, nice. You know, excellent. I'm Got infiltrating your circles. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I just got to hang with you, and then I'll see all. <laughs> yeah. the friends. That's right. I'll, right. I'll write. I'll write some letters for you. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, so it was prosthetics, and then it was a, uh, it was this robotic face, that you know. Oh, make cool. Theater, right. Yeah. But yeah. because it's that, you, I have like little pinholes that sure. are that are just to the sides of my actual <laughs> eyeball, so I can see, I can see peripheral pretty well. Yeah. I can see the ground when my mouth opens. Uh huh. You know, so uh, that was always an experience uh, to to operate deaf and blind. Yeah. And just yeah. Just kind of doing the thing. Um, but it was so cool to be in the actual job of the hut lair. I bet. You no, know, they had done it to scale, man. Yeah. It was literally like it was in the movie. And it was the most surreal experience to just be like, oh my God, like this You're is in this, Star Wars. I'm in I'm for real, in, for real. For real, for real. Right. <laughs> so super cool. Wow. What yeah. did, what was the audition like for that? How'd you get involved? Uh well, the auditions are funny because they'll they'll have fake scenes. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be like it'll be like what what will it be, it'll be on on this audition i think it, it was like gangster captain or ah, of course. mafia boss talks to another mafia boss right yeah <laughs> classic so, 
Right. And so you kind of have to, you, you just have to go with whatever your gut tells you. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew it was star Wars. So I knew not to put on like a pirate accent or anything. Sure. Like or <laughs> the old Asian pirate still in your yeah, heart. Yeah, exactly. It's Back out. again. <laughs> Arr, right. I never really uh, leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it was like a two page audition where we were, uh, basically doing like a deal in a CD. Yeah, it was yeah. basically Jabba the Hutt's lair, right? Sure. And we were, we were doing the thing where it was like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that was it. And, uh, you know, had to send in a self-tape. And then they they worked through their their channels. I had sure. some heads that need to yeah. get eyeballs on this thing. Make mm -hmm. sure you're okay. You know, they want to see if your, your, your presence and your body posture was okay and, and the mm -hmm. acting and all that, right? Sure. So emoting, so. And then they put a lizard face on. Yeah. It. <laughs> and then they don't use it. And then it does 100% <laughs> of the work. I was like, oh, this is going to be chill, man. I just put this on. I could, and this is great. The, they're going to do all the work. For the sure. So, yeah. <laughs> did you know it was animatronic at the audition or did they tell you after you booked it? I did not know. Yeah. They, they told after. So I think cool. with a lot of these parts, it's it, it's probably like that with Star Wars. It's I think like, so too. You got so a 50 -50. Secretive. Yeah. You got mm -hmm. a 50 50. This is either you know, prosthetics or it's uh, animatronic, right? Yeah. So either you're going to be your face or it's going to be a completely different experience. So, Makes but sense. look, it's Star Wars. So it's Star Wars. They, they can have me play a trash can. I'd be yeah. happy. <laughs> right. No. They might yeah. do trash can droid. I do it. It's there. <laughs> Never say no. Ball. Right. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. I love when I see like, uh, stunt people like in movies that i recognize because you get to see their face because so often you yes. don't right and with you i also love hearing that keanu was your guy because not yep. only you got 47 ronin yeah we're on john wick that's right Dude, exactly how cool yeah. was that uh it was amazing to i'd already seen him on 47 ronin but i had never seen him work on the john wick series i'd always heard sure. good things but mm -hmm. man that boy had to do a 50 beat fight like multiple <sighs> times and he smokes. So I was like, how, are, how do you have the cardio to do this? <laughs> He's the chosen he has, one. That's how. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and he has the patience to do it. So I told this story before, but like, this is how I know he's cool. Like we're doing rehearsal. I have a small part in John Wick where, you know, I, I'm just a gangster. I have to chase him. And then there's a big old fight that pops off and I get killed in a very specific way. He throws like a bunch of knives at my face. And me being an actor, I try to extend it for as long as possible. <laughs> I want Screen time. I want to be you memorable. Missed. You missed. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. Gotcha. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Or my my deal is like, yeah, you got me, but I'm still alive. Like, I'm just <laughs> out. Uh, like Stephen, he, he he got you in the head. Yeah, but my brain shifted a little bit. And, <laughs> right. Okay. I turned at the last second. Oh, yeah. You didn't see it. I still have some motor skill. <laughs> so, you know, all through the rehearsals, I'm trying to find ways to to extend this. And one of my brilliant ways was right right before I die. I'm going to spit at him from the ground. I'm just going <laughs> to look at him because that's how much disdain I have for John Wick. And then he'll kill me. Right. So I start doing that and, and I start doing that and nobody notices because it's a big fight. Sure. Except, you know, finally we get to like the third or fourth rehearsal and then it happens. I do it. I'm feeling good. I'm like, right. I think I'm just going to do this forever. Yeah. He stops. He turns around. And he, he looks at me and I go, oh, no, I'm caught. <laughs> I'm looking at him all innocent. And he's like, did you just spit on me? And I go, oh, my God, this is it. I'm fired. I have two choices. I can either lie or I tell the truth and see what happens. So I said, let's just tell the truth. I said, yes. He stops. He thinks. He squints his eyes. And then he looks at me and he says, cool keep doing it and he walked away <laughs> i go oh my god right. keanu reeves and every time i see keanu i saw him at the premiere i always say the same thing keanu i'm steven oh young you may not remember me i worked on you on 47 running with you also john wick uh yeah. He's all, yeah man cool uh, of course hey bro nice to see you and i'm always like i know you don't remember me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. too many people but i love that he lies right you know? he's so I kind yeah <laughs> Exactly. And it's Excuse a me. good death scene. As far as deaths go, getting a Thank knife you. in your face by John Wick is pretty right? good. I call him Porcupine Man. You know? <laughs> Thank Respect. You. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You didn't go theater. down with one. You go exactly. down with two. Exactly. In the theater, it was great because uh, the reaction to that 
oh, you know, yeah, so many fights where they were crazy and people like clang. But for mm-hmm. for that death to have the reaction it did, people in the audience laughing, cheering, clapping, going gasping. It was, uh-huh. I was like, oh, you're welcome. You know, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I bring a little magic. What can I say? I bring a little magic. You're waiting out the door of the theater. Okay, yeah, that remember the nice yeah, guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's my headshot. Yeah, Here's your sharpie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I respect it. Thank you. You done you done some pretty cool stuff. Oh, uh, you know, Sicario. Sicario, <laughs> yep. I've seen it. Getting Sicario. out of the car. You got I get some out of the shots. car. I do my little let's get it. I look straight down the pipe to yeah, the camera. Because Denny Villeneuve at the time, he I, I looked at it. I was at the shot. I was like, look, there's only one camera. And you know, and I'm getting out of the I'm driving uh, Josh Brolin. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I, I if I get out of the car, I'm in frame. Yeah, I asked yeah. the stunt coordinator and Denny, I was like, hey, I'm getting out of frame. You know that, right? I'm like in it. Delta Force guy. Okay. Uh-huh. They're like, yeah, yeah, I know. Get out and, uh, you know, signal the guys. And I said, okay, this is on you boys then. Yeah. You asked for this. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I want to get my face 100% on camera. <laughs> and I did. So check yeah, it out. you did. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. That, dude, that was an amazing movie because you know I'm a huge great. fan. Of, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Taylor Sheridan. I I love Yellowstone, and I so to be part of, uh, uh, to be part of Sicario before he blew up like this. Yeah, was an incredible experience, and even Denny Villeneuve, like nobody Legend. knew, Legend. right? Yeah. Right? Nobody. He didn't. He wasn't how he was today. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it was a very small film. But it also had Richard Deak- uh, uh, Deakins, right? The, yep, the yep. Oscar cinematographer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, heavy hitters on that movie, man. Yeah. And so we got to play with guns in the New Mexico desert, you know, be special <sighs> forces for like two months. It was amazing. Um, I love that movie. And then when it came out, it was so surprising because it was a simple story on the page. Yep. But when you see the movie, it's just like, good Lord, this is artistry. So yeah. very, very lucky to be a part of that movie for sure. I think about that dinner scene a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think about it a lot. <laughs> a lot. Like, uh, you don't want to think about it too ooh, much, Brian. You're ooh, just, you're just ooh, at dinner with your girl. You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, remember when Benicio Del Toro murdered the family in front of the guy? That's <laughs> so cold. That's exactly. pretty wild, huh? Dude, I, I was there when Benicio was talking to Denny, and he was like, I don't need to say this. I don't need to say this. He was an actor, <laughs> and I, I, I learned that lesson sure, where sure. it was like, it's sometimes more powerful as an actor, as a character, mm-hmm. to not say something. Yeah. I remember that was my first time I heard him say, look, I'll just say this with a look, right? And that can sound pretentious to people. But then if you watch the movie, you're like, yeah. yeah. He said it all with a look, man. Less is so, more. Exactly. Which I have yet to, to take heart to. I mean, look at this, <laughs> look at this interview. I'm like, what's that? I don't know word vomit. <laughs> Let me give you everything. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Oh, God. I also love that you, because you've done so many things on so many mediums that I'm like bouncing in my head because I watched everything you've done over the last few awesome. weeks. Awesome. And you've been in all these amazing movies, but I got to say, probably a career defining role is Golden Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say it. it that sounded so fun. Thank you. Yes. So Golden Joe. Exactly. Yeah, Matt. And what's funny about that is I had no prep. I came in and they were really? like, this is the character. Yeah. They're like, this is the character. He's flamboyant. He's loud. He's funny. Go. Wow. <laughs> was, like, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that was, that was really fun. Golden Joe sniping Lee. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, Kashi Mike. Yeah, that was a uh, that was good. That was good fun. That was great. Had to have been. I love that yeah. he's just in you because they're like, just go, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, all right. But yeah, you. well, they had they had written you know words like beepity boppity boopity pow, yeah. right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. And I'll put it this way, exactly. I can't take all the credit. It has sure. to go to the writers. When you see of it course. written like that, there's only you know <laughs> yeah. an actor. They made it very easy for me. Yeah. <laughs> there's only for me, there's only one way to say it. <laughs> Look up from the page. Exactly. I see you. I see what I you're think, doing. <laughs> I think I got this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, that, for me, it's like, yeah, I would love to do more, uh, more comedy video games like that. You know, that, that sure. stuff for sure. You really cut loose 
Yeah. Just go. For it. <laughs> just go. <laughs> Dra- drama for sure is is my thing. Ditto. Uh, uh, but for video games, yeah. If I could do more. Yeah. <laughs> Cold and Joe stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> he's another one. So you should have gone to bat be like, you know, he still has batteries somewhere. Yeah. He can, yeah. He's not, yeah, he's exactly. not dead, dead. You know, he we only didn't see buried. Li- he only leaked a little bit of battery fluid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can be, re- they're droids. They could come back. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was, was Wally's chicken laugh your idea or was that on the page? Also, well, not on the page, but on the director's notes. Okay. Okay. They were like, also they were very like, good. <laughs> yeah. They were like, oh, thank you. They were like, you're a chicken. I was like, got it. <laughs> I've, I'm born for this. Easy. <laughs> exactly. You know, I was like, I've, I've always been called cocky in my life. So right? great. <laughs> I said, you know, if you could do some pacocks, you know, like little, little, little what, however you call that, right? Like, uh-huh. uh, that's like, what yeah. I call them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Animation is so fun. It's just, uh, this is another thing, right? It's just really, this is the reality. It's like, it's really difficult to break in, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. But, you know, you, you, you take, take long enough. Go yeah. <laughs> right. would have thought, right? I'm in yeah. a cartoon. I never would have thought that. So sure. Yeah, and you killed it. Are. Thank you. You killed it. And, and that character didn't die. So that's true. That, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Baby bears. Right. Today we're gonna learn about mortality, kids. Right. <laughs> With your old Wally. pal Wally. <laughs> exactly. Do you yeah. like? Are you good with nerves then? Because you go in and you just you just go for it. Yeah. Lately, uh, yeah. Especially as the years progress. Yeah. The, the nerves are always there. Right. Because you want to do a good job. Totally. I think the nerves are there as a sign, a symptom of you caring. Sure. Right. Agreed. But. But uh, what really helps is to just focus on you have an objective because I think part of nerves, this is another observation. It's just part of nerves is you are self judging. You are, you are taking a part of your attention that should be on just doing your job and you're putting that on yourself. And because you're putting that on yourself, you're actually taking away energy and focus that could be used on doing the deed. Right. Right. So once you start to just try to do more of that, you'll never, ever be able to turn off the self-criticism 100%. Because sure. we always live with it. Right. But you can work on it to the point where you get to a state where it will, it will feel like you don't have nerves, you know? Interesting. Even to this day, right? Like if I do something, like when I was doing Jason Todd, Red Hood, right? Uh-huh. I the sessions and some sessions feel like no nerves at all. Like totally got this. Yeah. Some sessions that are like really important, you feel a little bit, right? Sure. But then the other thing to re- realize too, especially as a film, TV, and video game actor, stage is different. But, right. but the other one, it's like you have more chances. You don't just oh, have one chance. Oh, so right. Feel free to do that. Now on stage, you should absolutely be a nervous wreck. Right. Like <laughs> anxiety, I can't help you. Brothers, right. and sisters. that's it is all live. true. Exactly, and it's live, and it's only once, and it's forever. Yeah, right? but, yeah. Ugh. So th- those are my tips to to help alleviate the nerves. Just I just like focus that. on yeah, focus externally. Sure. On doing something else, doing the thing you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's it. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. Going from with Mister Negative which is yeah. a huge role. And you got the great villain turn of like, the good yes. guy is actually the bad guy. Right. Like, I've heard of that audition. Yeah. Again, is it the same kid in the parking lot that's like, I'm going to work here? That showed oh, up Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that one, that one was it, not necessarily, yeah, uh, that was different. It was not necessarily the same kid as the parking lot. But yes, at that time, I got that audition. And what happened? I was really in this mode of like, I was super excited for it. First sure. of all, because I didn't know it was Spider-Man. I just okay. knew it was a video game, but it looked cool. The audition was a fake, again, another fake scene. We were on mm-hmm. a rooftop. We had hostages. I had to speak with an accent. I had to speak Chinese too. Oh. And it was like, it was like the scene was, we had just finished like a bank robbery. We we're coming for a hotel cool. and I had hostages and I had to like, I had to X out one of the hostages just to Good prove scene. that I was psycho enough to do it cops yeah. and leave it alone, right so super cool scene 
And they were like, we want this guy to be cool. We want him to, we can't tell you what the project is, but he's a bad guy. And he's kind of like Jun Tao from Rush Hour. You know, he's got that, kind of, yeah, he's kind of got that attitude. Okay. Ken Long, right? So I was like, cool. So I practiced for a week, just like doing it. And I was feeling comfortable. I was feeling confident. And then I went into the audition and I was the first one there. Smart. And, uh, well, yeah. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's weird, right? It's like, you can either be first or last or whatever. Like maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. I don't uh -huh. know. I'm going to be first. I'm going to, I'm just going to go first. And then I saw, but I saw the list of all the people that were going to come after me. And I was like, it was everybody. Ooh. It was like every Asian guy in town. And Ooh. that's when it kicked in. I was like, I have to get this. <laughs> I have to get this. And I, I became like, it, it was, it was not confidence. It was just like anger. It was, yeah. it was everything that I ever wanted in life that I never got. It was yeah. being prom king. It was all that. It was, <laughs> yes, you're going to write all the wrongs. It was being cut off that morning. Yeah. You know? And I was like, so I went in, did the scene. And then it was, I felt so good. I, I really got lost in it. And I was like, so energized and, and evil, but also charming, I think. And I had this rubber knife and Walt, who I'll recommend that you interview next as well. Oh, sweet. I'm down. He's now a, you know, motion. He's now a video game actor, talented stage actor. He didn't oh, audition. Walt Gray? Yes, Walt Gray. Kid you not, coming on Wednesday. Okay, perfect. Exactly. <laughs> so Walt, amazing scene partner. I, uh, I probably owe him the job. I, you know, I cut his throat with the, with a rubber knife. And then I, you know, they, they call cut. I said my last line, they call cut. And I was so amped. I was like, Oh, I did it. I didn't screw up any lines. And I, I did good. I feel good. <laughs> I threw the knife down on the ground. I jumped in the air and I yelled, I defy you to find somebody better. Right? And then you like, use defy in a sentence. Yeah, I said that I said, I defy you to find somebody better. And then I stopped and I said, oh, my God, wait, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I, I just got a little excited. I'm really sorry about that. That is not an indication of who I am as a human being. Or right. a that was the character. That was the so character. You know, I can but do I that. Think, yeah, exactly. But I think because there's that duality of like, what an evil dude, what a crazy man. And then immediately to, oh, so, so I'm so sorry. Where, where am Range. I? They probably saw the Mr. Negative in there. Right. Ah, so, yeah. Both sides of him. The one that runs the nonprofit. And it, it's, exactly. So, and I didn't even know that Mr. Negative was Mr. Negative. Right. Right. So they saw they, maybe they yeah, they saw acting Steven and then they saw nice Steven and they were like, oh, well, this, there guy, he is. this guy does it. <laughs> right. We have to go through the rest of the day. But I mean, <laughs> exactly. hey, double done. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, again, though, very thankful to Insomniac because, again, you know, initially Mr. Negative was kind of a intro villain he was kind oh. of gonna be the guy yeah he was kind of gonna be the guy that that you beat that you fight to learn how to do the controls and this and that you got know? it like fisk but, yeah but got through it. the process of the storytelling they started to make him ramp him up bigger and bigger and i think it's you know dan slot created an incredible character mm -hmm. and I, I, and he you know he he supported insomniac and so insomniac and spider-man PS4. That is the game that made, you know, Mr. Negative. Yeah. A household name. Because I remember, even, yeah, even when they released the game, people were like, who is this Asian guy in a suit? And now everybody knows Mr. Negative. Right. right? And so now that, you know, and you saw my Twitter, they're talking about, you know, uh -huh. uh, rumors about, you know, making the movie and, and Mr. Negative. And it's like, yeah, I, of course I throw my hat in there. Of in the course. Room. He's Why right not? here. I'm right here. You know, people are like, oh, well, of course you know steven uh, wants to be in it because it's marvel yes of course well yeah well, also <laughs> look at how often you've worn a suit <laughs> uh, i'm just saying i wear a suit everywhere right? everywhere yeah. it's fresh off the boat exactly. csi and yeah exactly. all of it you're in a suit exactly. all the time dude, dude, in this ghosted movie i'm in a suit yeah. i'm just telling you i wear it all the time i'm right you're there. good at suits steven exactly i just keep saying when they're when they're talking about the rumors for mr negative they got all these people keep having the wrong steven they, right, yeah. they get the Stephen with a V and the yeah. N. Mm. You spell Stephen with a PH and UN is Agreed. O Young. It's yep. O Young. O Y O U N G. Actually, uh -huh. <laughs> are, we, are we putting the apostrophe in or we're not? No. Well, you, listen. Put it's it however you. you want. No, no. Put it however How do you want, you want it? <laughs> I I always just do capital O lowercase Y O U N G. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna make sure I, if anyone does it differently. I'm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the that's the next. You know, that's the my baby pet project. 
it was yeah. like oh, it would be amazing to 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 do that but whoever whoever gets mr negative if they if they make a mr negative mm-hmm. you know appearance then right. that's one that is one lucky asian let me tell you yeah, yeah. and you're welcome you know yeah. they say, they say <laughs> I, i've stood on the shoulders of giants that's where i am right, right. well yeah. whoever gets mr negative stood on my shoulders man i am the giant <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, right. in my mind, <laughs> and my heart. <laughs> did you did you speak Chinese beforehand? I speak a little Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, I always use my 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 dear mother as my translator. Ah, smart, <laughs> smart man. Use what you got. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Did you feel more? Because the villain in a project is really really important because that is the opposite of the hero, right? right. They build each other up, and one oh, raises yeah. the bar. Yeah. Is it more pressure to be the villain in a massive property like Spider-Man or to be a lead with Jason Todd? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, I get you comfortable. And then I. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's see. It, it's I guess it's more pressure to be the lead. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. It is more pressure to be the lead, but it is a different pressure to you know what because when you're a villain it's true what they say it's true what they say villains have more fun yeah not to say red hood is not fun sure but but you are really able to cut loose and be like and wreak havoc and be like you deal with it you're the good guy right yeah right that's part of the attitude sure sure so two different experiences for sure yeah okay as of now, like, how is it playing a lead of like a team? It's different, like you said. It's a uh, well. I love I love the other uh, Sloan, America, Chris, oh, of course. And I loved working with them. Mm-hmm. You know, we were only able to work a little bit because COVID hit together, right? Makes sense. But then we were also able to get a few sessions in. And uh, uh, you know, it's that is true. It's a it's a good question. I'm stumbling because I've so rarely played the good guy. Sure. <laughs> All through my career. So it was kind of a first to be like a, a good guy. Yeah. It, it was not, a, a boy could get used to it. As all <laughs> and in the, in the DC universe, right? In, sure. in the Batman universe. The great and not character. only that, yeah, to be Red Hood. Yeah. Knuckles is my boy. You know, sometimes yeah. when I'm going to auditions and I need to like, up the the masculinity yeah a little, little grit yeah I, I yes i'd always be like me and my ex she'd always be like uh she'd always say hey just jensen ackles it up and i'd be like oh you got it all right I'm yeah just, it up. okay all right so <laughs> but to be able to be red hood you know i love under the red hood i think that is the mm-hmm. performance that is iconic you know Agreed. what i mean um so you know people ask oh uh, what do you sound like i mean i sound like me Right. Let's, yeah. be real. Let's be real. There are some parts where I'm like very much trying to, <laughs> very sure. much trying to be influenced. You just you know? have to look, yeah. you just have to agree. I'm not one of, I'm not one of these actors that is like, Oh, you know, I, I, I don't look at anybody else. It's like, no, I look at everybody. Yeah. Steal from the best. Good. Yeah. I see what's good. Look, you can only be you, mm-hmm. but if you can, if you can take some things that people like, why not give it to them? You know, I agree. I agree. If Batman shows up like, hey, guys, you're like, um, hold on. <laughs> That's not Batman. <laughs> exactly. 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 But yeah, I mean, it was great to to be the good guy. And it, it, look, we all want to be Batman. And Course. for me, this is the closest thing to being Batman is being. Yeah. Batman, right. So, you know, dream come true. All, all my Halloweens are ruined from now on. <laughs> like, I, I, I did this. I, you did. I did it. You did? Well, yeah. Feels good, huh? Yeah, exactly. Well, and the other good thing about being a, a good guy is I kept saying this, sequels. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, guys, you're always dying. You know what I mean? True. But like, but like dark, you know, Red Hood, hey, they can't make a Gotham Knights 2 without Red Hood. I'm That's just saying. true. That's a, see, we so figured I had a it big, out. Uh, Big smile on my face the whole time. Right. One word, <laughs> longevity. <laughs> and yeah, to your point, being working on the team, it's like you do feel like you're in the family because now you're really, again, yeah. truly with the sequels and all that, or just you, you feel like, okay, we're in this for the long haul. So yeah. I really hope it does well. 
I really, really hope it does well. So all you Arkham haters. Yeah. All you Arkham Knights, you had Arkham. That's you right. Had it five years ago. It's still there. Years. It's still <laughs> there. Boot it up. The graphics are still good. That's right. Uh, it's something new. <laughs> no. <laughs> is there is there a dream role that you haven't done yet that you're like, I really this, if you can manifest. Oh man. Dream some cool role. stuff. Yeah. You know, oh boy. I tell you what, I, I did say before if I could be in Dune. Yeah. Right? But then they made Dune. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I guess if they start making the weirder dunes, like uh-huh. Dune two, three, four, five, right? Then it's sure. like okay, maybe I'll be a Bene Gesserit witch or something. I don't know. <laughs> that was my that was my my go-to. I think now if I could have a you know, honestly, I want to be like a special forces operator Ooh. on something again okay. but like with lines and a character i just i, I find that all that stuff so fascinating if sure. i could be like a jason Bourne, if sure. i could be one of these, it would be like jason chen or jason kim yeah. that sort of <laughs> accountant turned assassin yeah not to be confused with the accountant by ben yeah. affleck which i always thought was like that is an asian movie Right? That should not be Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah. That needs to be Asian. That needed to be me. That, that, is my next, that is my next dream role, I guess, is to be something like that. That okay. would be dope. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I can see that. We'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, just like that, we've been talking for over an hour already. Awesome. awesome. You survived. Look at yeah. you. You did too. You didn't oh. die of boredom. <laughs> I got close. <laughs> I got real close. You're close. You're close. <laughs> oh. I stopped breathing like 10 minutes ago, just in case. <laughs> Dude, this was a blast. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It was great getting to know you. Like, yes. For real. You are a joy. We'll, we'll do it again, man. Done. Say hello Done. to Walt. I will. I will. Yeah. But before I let you go, I have to ask, where can people find you online? Where can they find your stuff? They can find me online on my official website, Stephen with a P-H, O-Young.com, nice. or my Twitter, Mr. Stephen O-Young, M-R, Ooh. Mr. Stephen O-Young. Uh, Instagram, Stephen O-Young. It's uh, very, very easy. IMDB, and I'm also on Vimeo. Just, uh-huh. just search. that's where I put all my demo reels, all my videos and stuff. And uh, yeah, it hopefully you'll see me as Mr. Negative in the live action. <laughs> if more of these people on Twitter, you know, you, t- you talk, that's what it is. You talk about dream role. That's my next dream role. There yeah, we go. I want Mr. Negative live action. That's yes. What, we'll make so. it happen. Exactly. We'll, we'll start. We'll get our picket signs ready. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> and... Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it's at Pod of Interest on Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites. You can also find me at brianbalance.com. There you'll find my demos, films, and a bunch of other really fun stuff. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. A good rating or review always helps and is greatly appreciated. Let the people know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. Just search The Interesting Podcast on tpublic.com to pick you up some sweet gear. Also, I've made a Patreon, so if you'd like to support the show more directly and get early releases of the shows, you now have that option over at patreon.com slash jedibrian. On that note, special thanks to Daryl, Daz, Ben, Victor, Jim, and Chris. Your support means so, so much to me, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.